Sometimes God's greatest gifts are all too often unanswered prayers. It's Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher. And not a, I am not a huge country music fan. I'm not a huge Garth Brooks fan. But the song, Unanswered Prayers, and the theme of that song resonates heavily with me in this day, this age, and this time. You see, once upon a time in my past life, I sought great fame, great wealth, great power. The, I associated the value of my life as becoming a celebrity musician. And I obviously did not get there. But that was a dream that I looked up to certain rock bands and heavy metal bands, pro wrestlers even, and the spirit that I associated them was the freedom and the confidence of being able to be yourself and express yourself as you are. But now I'm seeing a lot of those same individuals I once looked up to in life, and all they're doing is parroting a narrative from an establishment, a narrative that you don't matter, that you're selfish, that you should be ashamed of standing up for your freedom, that you should be ashamed of speaking a truth that you know to be true, and, you should, and, 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 and it's all for the better good. And these same individuals who I associated with freedom, with a triumph of the human spirit, now reveal the true nature of the business of entertainment and what it really is about, which is selling you an illusion, selling you emotion, selling you dreams that are not necessarily your own. But those who sell it to you, it's not necessarily their dreams either. They're essentially running a program that's controlled by somebody or something else. And they are, much of the time, some of the most miserable, pathetic, enslaved excuses and examples of a human that one can find. And that's why we have so much suicide and we have these stories of people who have made it in this world, but yet it's not enough. And right now, we're getting a certain narrative from Hollywood, from celebrities, from this sphere of life that's very popular, a narrative that I find disgusting. I'm not going to explicitly say on this channel because the platform I'm on promotes the same narrative that I firmly stand against. But... It is an anti-human narrative. It is an anti-human spirit narrative. And these celebrities who once flaunted the banners of freedom now do the opposite. Now they want to tell you that you're dirty, you're selfish, and the experts know better. we got to listen to them. And you need to listen to us because we're the celebrities. We deserve to be here in our mansions. But you, who are toiling away, um, your, your voice even if, and, and your beliefs don't matter. And I cannot disagree more. So that being said, I'm so thankful that I'm not one of them. I'm thankful that that dream never came true because right now I've never felt more in alignment with the truth behind the spirit that I came into this world to do and be and the purpose that I came in here to embody. But I got to thank them at the same time. I got to thank them for showing me what it's not. I'm thankful for those who are showing you and giving you such a good example of contrast right now. Some are going to be more in alignment with the words I say. Some are actually going to find what I'm criticizing right now. They're going to be more in alignment with that. But you get to see how these two timelines and these two expressions of a soul plays out. That being said, be strong, be well, my friends, and I'll see you on the other side.